They're seeking their first title since 1939. Whoa. Logan Sport trying to win their first since 2016. In the first quarter, the Pels get off to a good start. Elijah Curry takes the handoff, goes untouched, 53 yards into the end zone. It's 7 0 Homer. On the next Pelican possession, the lead extended. Tack Beyonce Kid, the Devontae champ for the 24 yard score. Extra point, no good. It's 13 zip. Next Tiger possession, Cam Boykins intercepted by Duran Donnell. Takes it down the sideline for the pick six, but Homer wasn't done. On the next Logansport possession, Katrivik Banks with the interception, and he's going to return it for another pick six. It's 27 0 Homer. Still in the first quarter, but then in the second, Logansport does get some offense going. Boykins to Javen Claybrook, two point try good. It's 27 8. On the ensuing kickoff, kid, he answers right back. Making defenders miss, breaking tackles on his way to a 79 yard kickoff return touchdown. That would send us to the half with Homer up 34 to 8. Yeah, but in the second half, the Tiger comeback begins. Cam Boykins keeps it himself from eight yards out. It's 34 14. 41 21 when Boykins looks deep for Jacob Contario, and he's got him. 79 yard score gives the Tigers some hope late in this one. Yeah, but that hope didn't last long. This one would put it away. Boykins looking end zone. He's intercepted by Tekeldrick Webb. Homer intercepts Boykins six times. And they capture the 1A state championship 41 to 28. So Homer getting a pretty complete performance all around. Elijah Curry, 258 yards rushing with the touchdown. John and I broke this one down from New Orleans after the game. The Logan Sport Tigers came in as one of the hottest teams in the entire state. And then this game kicked off. Homer scores the first 27 points of the ball game, all in the first quarter. And this game was really a done deal after only 12 minutes. It felt like that, John. The game's two most critical plays coming on back-to-back -back possessions for the Logan Sport Tigers. Cam Boykins throwing a pick six, coming out, and then throwing another pick six. Homer, excellent in all three phases of the game today, scoring defensive touchdowns, a special teams touchdown. Coach Casey couldn't have asked for more from his Pelicans. Proud of my boys and proud of what we did tonight and just proud of everybody. To go that long without, you know, winning the championship, uh, we knew once we got down here, nothing was going to stop us. Nothing. Uh, I don't care what would happen in that game, our guys are going to fight hard to the end. From school to uh, the community, man, the, uh, the atmosphere has been amazing. Uh, how much pride everybody is showing, how much, you know, they telling us that they want us to do, I mean, want us to succeed and congratulating us and telling you how good you are. But at the same time, you got to keep your guys humble. The job is not done, and uh, it's just been amazing throughout the town. As you can see, man, uh, it probably was nobody left in home uh, tonight or today because everybody was here. On the other side of things for the Logansport Tigers, they were down by as much as 34 to 8 in this one. They could have packed their bags. They didn't. Head coach Kevin McGee had a very inspired message for his team heading into the half. You know, you're here. All bets are off. There's no next week. There's no unknown. So go play loose, you know, and, and, and believe in what we do and just go play. Don't quit being so tight. Uh, I felt like if we could have got that last score right before halftime, we would have kind of been sitting in the driver's seat, even though we'd still been down two and a half scores or whatever it was. But, uh, you know, we've been in this position. I've been in this situation as a player, and we ended up winning. We did it last time we were here. And so I, I believe in our guys, and I believed in our guys, and, and I still think if we get two or three plays back that, that you know, I'm, I'll be doing the second interview. After that halftime message, there were times where it looked like Logan Sport was going to pull off this miraculous comeback. But in the end, to Keldrick Webb intercepts Boykins at the goal line with just a few minutes remaining in the fourth, and the Pelicans hang on for the state title. And, of course, this doesn't take anything away from Logan Sport's season after losing the first four games of the year. They rattle off nine straight wins just to get to this point. They checked off a couple of important boxes, too. They won a district championship. They beat their rivals Oak Grove. Just not enough today for the Tigers. And Homer, like you said earlier, doing something they haven't done in 80 years since before the start of World War II. That's pretty special. Absolutely. The entire town of Homer, they'll be celebrating tonight. The Pelicans, they're the champions in Class 1A, reporting from New Orleans. He's Wesley Boone. I'm John Sartori.